Professor, I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. Yep. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Oh boy. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Well, it's time to be sneaky again. Alright. Okay. Welcome back for more Hogwarts Legacy, so... We are now going to be sneaking into somebody's office yet again. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Yeah, that is a good question. Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Alright. Okay, back to here. And over here. And bada boom. Okay, Professor Fig, what do you got for me? Wait, hold on. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am going the right way. Time to wait. Wait, I am not supposed Hello to be there. here. Perhaps you can help me. Uh, sorry, buddy. I meant to find Professor Fig, not you. Oh, find you next time, pal. Sorry. Oh boy. Hi. All right. Okay. Whoa. Hi, Professor Fig. Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lord Gok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. And then it's going to be a problem. The password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. 
Wait, doesn't Polyjuice Potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Oh boy. Well, let's see what's going to happen. Oh, I'm him. How do you right. feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him when to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. All right. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. All right. Now Good talk. I find the headmaster's house elf. This is going to be interesting. Now I'm using Polyjuice Potion, just like in the Chambers of Secrets. And that's a dead end. Well, I can't, I can't use Rebellio. I need to find. Oh wait, follow the yellow. Professor. Follow Professor, the yellow. A moment of your time, please. Oh Professor, no. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I. Oh, I um. Places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I. Well, I. I did. Oh I boy. I did. Yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I will decide what's best. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable... I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Okay, you sound like the I professor. The approaching. Oh, hi, Fig. How's it going? It might you go in the right way. shine on those boots. Do better. Master, here, what could he want? When I witnessed what passes for okay. magic in these halls, I, uh, I... Professor, a word? Oh, no, not Professor again. Black. Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We, we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor. More than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they're fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Oh boy, that would be unwise. Okay, so I had to be like him now. I should think you'd have better things to do with your time. <clears throat> now, where's my elf? I... Good day, Professor. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Ouch. 
What do okay. you deserve him as a head? <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Oh, wrong way. No, it's the headmaster, and he's coming this way. Okay. Hi. Don't mind me. Wait, if am I must going? Speak with me. Consult my secretaries, or what? Have... Professor, a word, please. No. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. He's handling secret ministry matters. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. Awkward. A wonderful uh job. Leeway for Professor Fig? I shall never understand that. Oh boy. I ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Oh, that is a nice... That is a I'm nice one. He's happy with Scrope's performance as his house elf. There's no doubt in Scrope's... Scrope. Oh, oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. You dare question me? How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Okay. Purity of blood. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, oh, as no. Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very Torture's well. pure. Toujours pure. Oh. oh. Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Okay, I pronounced that wrong. The Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Keep running. Just keep running, keep running, just keep running. Oh crap, wrong way. Wrong way! Okay, <sighs> go, go, go. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Oh, by the way, I, I did. The password to the gargoyle. Hold on. Anyway, so I did upgrade my character, and now it's done. Okay, I almost went the wrong way. Alright. Hi, how's it going? Okay, where am I going? Oh, here we go. I'm still going. How far is this? This is actually 
pretty good so far. Uh, go this way. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Uh, okay. Okay, well, I'm not gonna unlock anything just yet. This way. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Oh, I know this area. Toujours pure. Whoa. Oh, I know this. Going up. Going up. Going up. Going up. Going up. Going up. If all the elite wizarding families have a motto. That's actually curious. We all don't know. This is where Dumbledore was. Oh, where Dumbledore's going to be. Revelio. What, what you got? That's a nice handle. Alright, let's go. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber. And read the book that appears. All right. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Hey, look, that another case. Whoa. Is this a Tom Riddle diary? Where am I? Whoa. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Leave. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. You in this place as in life, death takes many forms. Whoa. Avoid each of them at all costs. Okay. Holy cow. Oh boy. We know what this means. We have to not be seen. Okay. I should have run when I could. Leave must be here somewhere. Oh boy. I need to time this just right. Okay, I can't do that. Oh boy, that came out of nowhere. I'm dead. Okay, I didn't even see him though. He's gonna come that way until the last minute. This is my chance. I'm coming, Leaf. Okay, 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 okay. Just right. Yeah. I gotta completely time it. Don't don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Do not look at me. I see. A staircase straight ahead. There we go. 
Whoa. That's death? There. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Come on, turn, 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 go. Okay, 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 okay. Just keep going. Just keep Back going. On. For now, I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Okay, well... Well, this time I wasn't paying attention right there. All right, let's try this again. I'd best move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Okay. So this is supposed to be death. So, uh, looks like I was already dying in a storybook. Don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. Oh no. There's death right there. I must be able to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, door, 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 door. Looks like the only safe way for close tight. No way but forward, I suppose. Yep. Okay. my chance okay 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 you see nothing you see nothing all right that's the way forward get it go get it Mister mysterious cloak I think I'm invisible the invisibility cloak. I know this one. Could this be the Deathly Hallows? How am I supposed to get over there? Oh, here we go. I don't know if this is the Deadly Hallows or what. Can't go that way. I don't think they can see me. They but can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. Okay, now I have to turn this way. 
This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? Now what's happening? But have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. The Elder Wand? Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. That's the Elder Wand. I now have the Elder Wand. I've never felt such power. Bombada. Okay, now that's cool. Alright, it's time to get moving. I guess I'm gonna fight death. Yep. Can I move now? I can move now. All right. I'm thinking this is like a Deathly Hollow story that I'm in. Oh, good. Okay. Defender. Bombard. How many more are there? Defender. Bombard. Defender. Gotta keep moving. Just keep moving. Defender. Bombard. Now it's done. It's time to get out of here. All right. Oh, that's not good. There's a lot of screaming. This is pretty cool. It's all like in a storybook. Oh, there's death again. Okay, so I messed up on this one, but now I need to focus. How did, how did I not dodge that? Oh god.
Okay, who keeps... Take it! Oh god. Gotta keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Okay, there's still more. There's indeed still more. You ready for this? Okay, I got this, I got this. How did that not help? Okay. Oh boy. Okay. All right, get out of that corner. Get out of that corner. Defender, 
There we go. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. That was so close. Alright, let's get out of here. <clears throat> I literally couldn't even talk much in the story. There's a lot of stuff that is happening, and death is everywhere. Resurrection Stone. Yeah, this is definitely the he Deadly Hollows. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. What am I facing then? Oh. Am I facing death? <laughs> She's gone. Dear sweet Neve. Let us always honor her memory. May her memory be a treasure to us forever. What is that? But you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Who are you? Oh, this is Niam. This is her memory. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Okay. Now what does she want me to see? Okay, there's one of those tears again. Isadora, what you did for your father was remarkable. Wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't You're missing the point. Isidore. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Oh, have imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. So yet you did... Okay. Yet you d decide to take the pain from her. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. Yeah. All of us. 
You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Okay, there, this is like a bigger issue that what she is trying to go to. Whatever it is, this is a big issue for the professors. All right. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It yes. Is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. Was it disturbing? I found it disturbing. How did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. Hmm. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald. Without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lord Gok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Hmm. Well, it's like the way I'm seeing it so far. That one student is not listening to her professors of what the magic she is trying to harness would cause. Well, whatever it is, it's bad. So now, yet she's not listening and she's just thinking about herself trying to inhale the pain, make herself powerful. And seems like it's going to make it worse for everyone if she keeps us up sounds like a really big issue all right what's happening huh. whoa another pensive this is what we've been chasing I wonder Whoa. What is it? Let's find out. I 
cannot bring my brother back, father. But I can give you peace. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Oh, this is when things come for all circle, I think. Isadora. Have you done? I took his pain. Thank you. That worked. It did indeed. Of course it did. It's cobble and silver. I need something much bigger. All right. Bragbar. Would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. Wait, is she selling it? Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this unnerves them. Oh, everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. But someone will be. <gasps> she took away the pain. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. I, I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. We have seen that view before. The abandoned home in Felgroff, the destroyed painting, it was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. Yes. Yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain, it's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care. If at all. If at all? You've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. You can wield it. You have the ability. Please, talk to the Keepers. If not for me, then, then for Anne. Also, I did learn the Cruciatus Curse the and want to hold on. Isadora quiet. Why destroy her portrait? Okay. Anyway, so yeah, I did learn the Cruci the Cruciatus Curse and the Imperial Curse. 
So, I already did said I'm not going to be using those, but there's like a, there's probably like a, another piece of the story that I'm going to have with it. But not just yet. I will be making another video talking about what's happening, so I don't know what's happening just yet. So I want to save Sebastian's story until I finish up this main story here. So now, I believe we are just waiting? Wait, hold on. Speaking of which, Sebastian has planned to talk to Anne without Salomon knowing and wants to meet outside the helmet. Okay, so I think this is the one. And then this is grief and vengeance. I might add that one to part of it too. So I'll just leave that there and talk to Poffy. Not Poffy, Poppy. Okay, so we'll just leave this video right here for now until as for this point, I'll wait for more to come up. I'll level up my character and be ready for the ending or another part of this. So thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. This is Dragon 500. Shut down. Bombarda.